Welcome to our Warface review series video. Today we'll be looking into the H-Car Semi-Automatic Rifle. This gun is known as the strongest semi-automatic assault rifle in all of Warface, and also one of the easiest rifles to use. Today we'll be looking into to see if in reality, the H-Car Semi-Automatic is the best and the only semi-automatic in the game. We'll be looking into its special attachments to see what perks you get, and if it really is worth investing into this weapon. This assault rifle is in the shop pretty frequently at the price of 2500 Warface dollars per random box. I personally do not recommend opening random boxes as it is possible to get nothing even with lots of money invested into them. But for this video, let's see if Lady Luck was on my side and if I got this weapon permanent or for time from the random boxes. It took me about 410,000 Warface dollars to get this gun permanent. I think I kind of lost on this random box opening as it took a lot of my Warface dollars to get the gun permanent. Now let's see the statistics and the special attachments of this weapon. This gun has one of the highest damages for all assault rifles in all of Warface sitting at 164 damage per hit, the strongest out of all assault class rifles. The very cool aspect of this gun is that it is one of the only semi-automatic assault rifles in the game. This gun has the RPM of 250 and the range of 18 meters, which is above average for an assault weapon. The multiple players are better than most rifles sitting at 4.9 times the little player for a headshot and 2 times for a chest shot and 2.5 times for arms and legs. Most rifles sit at 1 times for all body shots. This rifle is pretty amazing drop offs ending at 47 meters with a damage of 140 per hit. Unfortunately this rifle does not have any special attachments and you have to use the standard size and attachments you get from the vendor unlock. This is not an issue as this rifle does not have much sway or recoil to compensate for. I still added my most optimal loadouts above. I personally use the advanced rifleman's Scope, which has a zoom factor of two times, a rifleman's grip bipod, which lowers the recoil spread by 20%, and the recoil attack by 20%, and when prone, reduces the prone sway by 90%, which is really good for fighting other snipers. For muzzles, I mostly use the rifleman suppressor as it increases my minimum damage all the way to 55 meters. I personally use this gun for further ranges as it does have very minimal damage drop off and can compensate with other sniper rifles. In close quarters combat, this gun is outclassed by most, most submachine guns and assault rifles due to its low RP and that it is the semi-automatic. The place this gun fits in the best is at medium ranges. Now let's test the recoil of the H car. I posted the recoil pattern above so you can see how to control it. This gun out of the box is little to no recoil. The only recoil you have to compensate for is a slight vertical bump which can easily be compensated by by pulling down ever so slightly. As you can see the bullet spread is very accurate and precise unless you try to hip fire which is then really inaccurate. Since there is no recoil at all this rifle is considered a new gun and I've always got a lot of hate in the in-game chat when I and my friend use it in PvP or rank. This rifle feels amazing when you get used to it. The recoil is very easy to manage and the huge amount of ammo, 20 per clip, is an amazing bonus. It is able to take out a whole enemy team in one magazine. The only downside I see is that the RPM is really low and since it's a semi-automatic, when you tap in close quarters, it is really hard to hit your enemy. Other than that, the high damage of this gun will surprise you in many ways. The vendor unlock items are very good for this weapon, but it would have been very awesome if the developers did add a special scope with 5x magnification for this rifle. It will then be a really 
really good assault class sniper alternative. It is a shame that this gun is not used much as it really is a very powerful and very fun gun to use. Very underrated gun. Thank you guys very much for watching and if you liked my review, please leave a like, subscribe and drop a comment on which gun you prefer or what other gun I should review.